Hey everybody, welcome back to the Cooking Everything Outdoors show. Not too long ago, I visited Tijuana and I was given a tour of the Telefonica Gastro Park in Tijuana, which is a, uh, basically it's a small area that has permanently parked food trucks and stalls, offering an array of amazing food by some very, very talented chefs and food artisans there. And what we're going to do today is recreate one of those recipes that I tried. I really think you're going to like this. It's a combination of creamy risotto, roasted vegetables, and a grilled London broil, which is my adaption of their recipe, and I'll tell you why in just a bit. So our setup today is a Weber kettle. I'm using charcoal. I'm using indirect heat. I'm going to be roasting my vegetables first, making some creamy risotto. That actually I'm going to do off a of camera and make that a separate video for you. And we're also going to be uh, cooking up or grilling up our um, London broil steak, if you will. The reason I chose that cut of meat over what I believe they use, or at least they said they use, I'm still questionable about that, is they use flank steak. And right now that stuff is like $9.99 a pound. And to get a nice flank steak, it's almost 20 bucks. I love you guys, but I don't love you that much. And I think this is going to work out really great. It's a nice inexpensive alternative to flank steak. So very simply, we have our vegetables. We're going to be using some fresh broccoli, uh, green uh, onions, some nice organic uh, rainbow carrots, some yellow fingerling potatoes, and some beautiful yellow, or actually this is called golden beets. That's simply going to be coated with some olive oil and salt and pepper, and we're going to get that going right now. Now, to get things started, I have a basically a 10-inch cast iron skillet. I'm going to put a little oil in the bottom of that pan. It's cold right now. I'm not worried about that. I want to get my potatoes, my beets, my carrots in there first, and I want to cook those until they're almost done. Then I will add the green onions and the broccoli. Very simply, we're just going to toss this with some olive oil some salt, coarse ground black pepper. Now this is going to go on the grill in direct heat and it'll probably take about 30-40 minutes. While that's happening I'm going to make my creamy risotto which I will show you in a different film. I don't want to drag this video out too darn long. Now to prepare the steak, very very simple. I'm just going to take some minced garlic and I want to work that into the steak on both sides. Now we're going to take the W sauce, Worcester, no, Worcestershire sire sauce. We're going to take the W sauce and we're going to very carefully drizzle that on both sides also. Apply a little bit of salt, some coarse ground black pepper. Don't be afraid to get messy. Messy is good. Paper towels are for. So that's all the seasoning we're going to do. I'm going to let this set, well, probably about 15 minutes. And then when our roasted vegetables and risotto is done, we're going to grill this up because it's only going to take a few minutes. It's only about a half an inch thick. Well, now everything's just about done. And what I mean by everything is my roasted vegetables and my risotto. But I still need to add my broccoli and my green onions. That's only going to take a minute. Those will cook really, really fast. And my risotto is almost done. Now I know you guys want to see how to do this on the grill. I'm multitasking right now. And I will show you in a separate video on this. And I've added several, well, not several, but probably about four or five cups of stock to this already. It's just about done. It needs to absorb just a little bit more. And I want to add my Parmesan cheese. Normally I would add a little uh, parsley to this, but for this particular cook I'm not going to. And really quick we are going to add our Parmesan Parmesan cheese. Don't be shy on this either. Fresh is best.
So our vegetables done, our risotto is done. I want to, and I've added a few extra coals over here. I want to get the heat back up so I can grill, basically sear my steak because it's not going to grill very long. But I want to add a little bit of smoke to that. So I'm going to add one of my barbecue smoking sticks. I know you guys haven't seen this yet, but these are really, really cool. And you'll have more information about them really, really soon. This is a pecan. Now it's time to grill our steak. So this steak cooks really fast. I'm going to pull it now and we're going to let it sit for a little while. I'm hoping to hit medium rare on this. We'll see how it goes. It's really thin and we'll slice it up and plate it. Time to see how we did. I think I missed the mark. We'll see. Either way, it's going to taste fabulous. Yeah, not bad. Not bad for a half inch steak. So before I lose my light, we need to plate this all up and it looks awesome. So first off, creamy risotto. I'm gonna splat a bunch of that right in the center of our plate. Now the original recipe used polenta and I didn't, but I still think this is gonna be absolutely spectacular. Then we want to put our roasted vegetables on. And now for our steak. <laughs> Man, I'm excited to try this out. So that's how we do it on the Cooking Everything Outdoors show. This just looks, I mean, this looks great. It was a little hectic there with the risotto and the roasted vegetables, getting the steak on, not overcooking that but this is easily something you can accomplish that looks like it came out of a restaurant. You can do this in your own backyard. Now it's time to try it out. Get a little bit of the steak first. Mm. Really good flavor. Try some of that. Polenta, the risotto. They made polenta, I made risotto. Mm. Picking up a little bit of smoke from the uh, last couple minutes there with the barbecue smoking stick, the pecan that I put in. But really cheesy, nice and, and perfectly done. That was a golden beet. I'm not a beet person. This is killer. And one of these potatoes. What is it about vegetables roasted on the grill? Just drives me crazy. It's like the only way to do it. So anyway, that's it. I'm going to stand here and eat some of this because this is my lunch and dinner and I'm going to enjoy it properly with a cold beer. I don't have a cold beer. All right. All right. And that's it. I will see you when I see you.